Hello, hello, hello. This is your girl, Dazzle 77 I am back with another video. As you can see, as the title says, this is a throwback vintage coach. What's in my bag? Also featuring a new product. Um, those of you that have already subscribed, thank you so very much. I'm glad you're back. For those of you that this is your first time on my channel, I welcome you. Most of the time I do um, affordable luxury bags such as Dooney and Bird, Coach, Michael Kors. I will sprinkle a couple of luxury items in there. Um, but of course, this is going to be a very, very good um, purse review this go around. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. So I don't know if you guys recall, but on, I think it was two days ago, I received a wallet from Coach and I just had to have this wallet. Um, I've been trying to go for smaller bags, smaller wallets, trying to make sure that um, I'm just kind of minimizing things, but still carrying the kitchen sink, if you will. So I went to find a bag to match my wallet in my closet because I said I'm going to try to not buy any more bags but use what I have for at least two months. Let's see how long that lasts. I do have one bag on the way. But I got in my closet and I realized I had no black coach bags. None. Can y'all believe that? So what happened was probably, well, May 1st, my neighborhood did a, a neighborhood garage sale. I had my coach bag, my Vera Bradley, the few Dooney and Burks I had, my 31 bags. And I think I had a couple of Michael Kors out there. But you guys, it was a very successful yard sale. And I got rid of like all of my coach bags. So maybe this will be my excuse to get that rouge and black. Because I have no black coach bag. So what I did, I ran across this beauty. So first of all, I got to tell you a little bit about this bag. Um, what I know about this bag. I um, graduated nursing school in 2002, and when I graduated, I went berserk with bags. Coach bags were my things. This is one of the bags that I purchased from the outlet, but at the time, the outlet had boutique pieces. This was one of those bags that was all the way in the back. Um, that was on clearance, and I walked around with this bag for at least... I would say 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes, because it was this one and one other one, but the price, I was like, for this to be at the outlet, um, it's kind of pricey. And so little did I know it was a boutique bag at the time. Um, but for me, it was an expensive bag. I think I paid close to like $300 for this bag. I remember this bag because I remember thinking, Shonda, what in the world are you thinking because it was so expensive? But anyway, so let me let you get a close-up on this bag. I might even just zoom. No, I won't zoom in. So first of all, if you look, this bag has leather. It has suede. It has the signature part. It has soft hand glove leather. It has a little patch with like cowhide has metallic like this bag has it all has some stitching in there um i would love to really realize what year this bag was made but it is absolutely beautiful it does not have any wear on the bottom does not have any wear on the sides because truthfully y'all i was scared to carry the bag um and I think I've only carried it once because I was into super, super big bags. But this bag was just so cute, I had to have it. Um, and if you look at the handles, I took really good care of this bag. There's no cracking. There are a couple of scratch marks. I'm pretty sure I can rub those out. Um, but the bag is really in good, good shape. Um, if you look at the top, you see the zipper. Um, I think this is more bronze than gold. Um, and then you have the double leather pull tag, and it's pretty long. Um, 
and then you have the silver. I don't know, this looks like gunmetal to me. So it's like gunmetal and bronze, which is a weird mixture. So, and then it has the coach tag on it and you can see I have some scratches on it. Um, I was new to bags and I didn't know how to take care of bags. So I'm just learning. So that this is the front of the bag. This is the side. This is the other side. And this is the back. Y'all look at the back of that bag. Oh my goodness. And it's amazing. Like I said, this was 2002 when I bought this bag. And you think all of these designs are coming back. Definitely that. Um, the canvas with the animal print is definitely coming back. If anybody on here knows what year this bag came out, please let me know. Um, I would... I would definitely be interested in knowing. So, one thing I like about this bag, I love outside pockets on the bag. This bag doesn't have an outside pocket in the back, but it does have one in the front. I have the iPhone 11 X Pro. And so this is just the case because I'm filming on my phone. And doesn't that kind of go good with the bag? So that's the first thing. So, I want to show you guys what I have in this bag and y'all are going to be surprised because the wallet is definitely going to add a pop of color to this whole ensemble. I was lucky enough to find um, accessories that I have that matched. Um, I added this little teddy bear. Let me bring it closer. I got it off of Amazon and he's like a blinged out teddy bear. He's black um, and it has this little handle. And it has bling on it. And then this little piece that's bling. So I thought that was cute. I had something on here that matched the color of the wallet. And I was like, ugh, that's too much. So we're going to leave the pop of color on the inside. But I want to show you guys what I put together. And I had to completely change my setup for this bag. So I'm happy to see how it goes. But let's get in there. So, of course, Old Faithful. This has nothing to do with the video, but I always use this bag to prop open um, my bags for what, my what's in my bag. Because I love to see where people are pulling things from. All right, y'all ready? So first of all, this is how it looks at the top. Believe it or not, the zipper is still like butter. Sorry for making all that noise. Let me unclip this teddy bear so we don't have to listen to all that noise. Okay. So when you open the bag, and the thing about this one is it does unzip all the way off. So I could leave this open if I wanted to. So as you can guess, the pop of color is pink. I'm just going to go ahead and begin this by telling you um, I would have never paired pink with this. But when you see my accessories, it pulls it all together. So the first thing I have in here is this little kiss lock pouch that I got off of Amazon. This um, actually replaces my Dooney and Burke kiss lock. You guys know I've been into those lately. I have the same thing in here that I had in those. I have my little clips to hold my AirPods in. I have my AirPods in here. I have... Um, my lip gloss, my Kate Spade perfume, I have Listerine strips, I have Scope mouth spray, and then I have the Body Shop Almond Milk and Honey hand cream. So this is like the bag that you want to grab, like if you just go into the store and you want to make sure you got all your essentials. This is that bag. So you guys remember this is pink. I thought this was so cute. And it actually came in a pack of two, and um, the other one's just as adorable. So, I want this to make sense. Um, I do have a purse organizer in there. Y'all, this purse organizer is the same age as my daughter, and my daughter's 24. The only reason why I know that is because I bought this purse organizer to go inside her baby bag. So... It is old. I don't know why I've never thrown it away, but I'm glad I did. So if you look on the inside of this bag, um, in the back, it has one zip pouch. 
Y'all wait till y'all see. I'm so excited about this one. Um, same setup. In this zip pouch, I have my Vera Bradley um, mirror. I have my loyalty cards. I have my other set of car keys. And y'all check out this holographic pouch. So I have all my insurance cards um, in here. Okay. So I kept that separate. Um, there's no more, no more, um, pouches on this side, but there is that big coach story tag. And I want to say someone told me what well, I heard today, how you can tell when the bag was made. Um, if I'm reading this correct, it would be the eighth month. The eighth month in 99. I just know the first two and the last two are the year and the date. So I don't know if that's true or not, but I saw someone say that. Or it may be here, 12, 8, 99. But I did hear the last two numbers were the year that it was made. And I'll bring that close to you guys and see. So that's the coach story tag. Okay. All right. So in the back part of the organizer, I have the same pouch um, that I had in my other bag. Um, and inside here, I just keep my check registers from my various bank accounts and coupons. And I'm going to put it all together so you see what everything looks like together because I was just so happy. Also, towards the back of here, I have some extra mask. This bag holds a lot. Um, on the side, if you guys can see, um, this purse actually has a D-clip in here. So you can hook your keys. And so I just have my keys hooked in here. Also, on this side of the purse organizer, I have this pouch right here. I got this from Walmart. Um, and y'all are going to see how this comes together. So, I kind of divided my, um, I don't want to say catch-all bag, but this is like a health, health and beauty bag. That's it. So, in here, I have all things related to, like, teeth and stuff like that. So, I have my dental flossers. I have my flossers because I have braces. I have floss. I have wax. I have my bobby pins. I have some tongues inside of here. And inside of here, I have some earring bags. So, this is, like, medication and after dinner type stuff that you need in there. All right, so on this side, I have my pencil pouch. Um, this is the same as the gold one that I got from Amazon. I just have pens. I don't necessarily carry a manicure kit. I just have clippers in here, a letter opener. I have some tweezers, and I have a glass file. Now, remember, you guys, I'm trying to minimize how much stuff I carry. And for me to carry this size bag, I think I'm doing really, really good. So on the other side, okay, so I did that side and that side. So let's flip the bag over. All right. So on this side, it has a pocket here, a pin loop pocket here, and then another pocket. Inside this pocket, I just have my ID badge and work keys. And this is the piece that I was looking to match everything with. Um, I want it black because if you look at this, um, it's called Charisse. This, this pink is bright. And I thought a black bag would really bring that out because of the gum metal here. Okay. So wait till you see it all together. It is beautiful. Um, this wallet is slim. And actually, I still got a lot of room in it. Let me make sure. So I just have my cards here. Um, I have my ID here. I don't want it in the window. And I did have room to put my change here with the tag. And I was surprised because I was worried about stuffing my money in there. And it fit in there with no problems. Okay? Absolutely no problems. I got a picture of my parents in here. Me and my parents when I was a little girl. <laughs> so 
So I keep that. My father has passed away. My mom is still here. I'm thankful. Um, but this is my wallet. Um, <clears throat> on the outside of this purse organizer, I have my safety tool. And the big part of this purse organizer, I have a 31 bag. This 31 bag is amazing. And they were so like popular when COVID first came out. Because on this side right here, you see this is a zip. You can put your phone inside of here and type text everything on your phone without bringing your phone out, okay? So now that I showed you that, on this side, I just have wet ones, feminine wipes, eyeglass cleaner. So this is my bathroom bag. I also have a big pack of wet ones. And in here, I have bathroom spray, have Q-tips, have some body butter from Flyblue 86. I have an extra pair of contacts and a contact blend case. I have a tie to go pin and I have some clear eyes. Okay. So this is the ba bag you grab when you're going to the bathroom. Okay. You got everything you need in there. I left these two items kind of not in a case and it was good on this because I use this most often. I got my pink cotton hand cream from Scentsy. Y'all hit me up if y'all need some Scentsy. Um, but this one's pink cotton. It's clean cotton, pink berries and vanilla sugar. It's one of my favorites. And then I have my favorite um, body mist and the stars from Bath and Body Works. So you guys, I got rid of the infamous I Meet You cases. I put my business cards in this little slot here. So I have all my business cards. I'll leave that in there. And then here, I have all of my gift cards and mostly all gift cards and some store cards in there. And then on this side, as you can see, I have my coach pill case and nothing has changed inside of there. So when you take this out, you see how easy that slid out? I probably could put a different purse organizer in there and it probably would stand up more. But as you guys can see, that bag held a lot. I love that they have purple with it, but that's not the color wallet I had, so. But yeah, I wanted you to look at that. Um, this is a coach bag. It was handcrafted in China from the finest materials and leather. Its superior craftsmanship reflects our commitment to enduring quality. But yes, I did hear that you can tell when it was made by what's on here. So I'm wondering, is it $12,899? I know the bottom two, last two numbers is the year, supposedly. And there again, I just wanted to show you um, the inside. Big pocket, pin pocket, and another pocket. But it's absolutely beautiful. Now I get to show you how I put my accessories together and what this bag looks like. So I'm just going to put a couple of things in here so when I stand it up, you guys can see the color contrast of the pieces that I put with it. Um, I thought it came out really, really good. Y'all tell me what y'all thought. Um, so of course, the inspired piece was the um, hot pink wallet. Um, I didn't want to go too fancy and bold and bright. Um, so I did keep the charm basic, which is the teddy bear. Um, the cool thing is, if you look here at this design, I pulled this 31 bag, so that matched. Uh-oh. So I'm just going to pull the accessory so you can see. I pulled this to pull out this hot pink that's in this wallet. So you guys, you see that? Ah, that is so pretty. Um, and then, you know, my phone case kind of went with the design 
Let me slide that over. That's down here. Um, I have my pouch to match the silver all throughout the bag. This is my pencil pouch. And then uh -oh. I kept this pouch um, the same. This is the pouch that I normally keep all of my um, check registers and coupons in. And then I have this pouch, which houses lip gloss, spray, you don't know all of that in my earbuds. So you guys, how do you think I did? Because I did not have a black bag and I promised myself I was gonna try to use what I had, but this pink was the inspiration. Um, I was really surprised to see that I had something to match that. This pulled in there. This pulled that. The silver came in from the bag. And then this pink just kind of tied it all together. So I hope you guys enjoyed this What's in My Bag. Um, I thank you so much for um, leaving comments. I love talking to you ladies and gentlemen about bags. I really, truly enjoyed putting together this What's in My Bag. And I hope you did too. If you're new, there again, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so you'll know when I put new content up. If you are already a subscriber, girl, I thank y'all for hanging in there with me. This has been so much fun and I'm loving the purse community. As always, be good to others, but be even better to yourself because we cannot pour from an empty cup. Bye-bye.